we're gonna make a checkout here of so I'm gonna say if empty dollar subject if the subject field is empty okay or empty dollar s name or empty dollar s email and if our content is empty if empty dollar content so anything is empty we're gonna throw an error we're gonna say echo please fill in all the required fields okay come back I'm gonna refresh the page <coughs> Then I'm gonna hit enter without entering anything. Okay, here it says please fill in all the required fields, but there are two errors on the top. Well, let me see why they are. Because first we'll have to give them some value out here. Okay. So this one will have a value of blue, this one will have a value of dark. And one more thing, because guys, we are not actually selecting them out, so we cannot create variables first. So I have to do it out here. If it's a dollar post dark, that means that the person is checking the dark one. Then, then only create a variable. Otherwise, don't even consider them. Okay. Then here would be dollar post blue. I believe we will not get this particular error right now. Yep, it's gone. So now our fields are empty. That's why it's saying please fill in all the required fields. Now the next thing we want to do is else if empty dollar tab or mm, let's remove it and do a do it with the else statement. So we'll say else. We are going to say dollar SQL. You know, just go ahead and enter everything to our database. But before that, we can use a bit of uh, what I would say MySQL validation to keep our forms neat and clean. So I'm going to say real SK string. Okay, this way we would not be entering any kind of SQL queries to our database but that will not happen because it would be for our internal use for the admin use so I don't think any admin want to enter any crap to its own database as name as email uh, here would be the content I'm gonna copy them out here as email here and here would be the S name. Okay, and the very last I'm gonna say MySQL query insert into a database that we don't have to now. So we're gonna go to news letters, news that news I believe. Here we're gonna create a new table, new as newsletter, give it six fields. And then see if they need more we will add them later. so i want to say id then i want to say temp name with that would be our template name and i want to say sender email then sender name creator name who actually created this particular newsletter it might can happen it might be i'm creating it and i'm using someone else name to send the newsletter so we need we also need to track who is the person who's actually creating this newsletter and they won't be entering it we're gonna do it behind the scenes then would be our description this product description uh, and we need i believe one more field i would say two fields then I'm gonna say time. After time, I need the actual status of the newsletter, whether it's active or not. So I'm gonna say status. So the temp name would be a work chart. Sender's email would be a work chart. The person who is going to send it, is it. work chart, work chart description would be the text. Where is text on the out here? 
time would be the date time. And the last of the status would be let's see what chart. Give this one to 10. And the creator's name to 50. Sender's name to 50. Email to 150. Template name to say 50 again. Okay, and our ID would be the primary key and auto incremental. So, come here, save it out. So, the new zero is our table name. I'm going to go here, I'm going to say insert into new zero. What all we need to insert? We need to insert a subject. We need to insert the sender's name. We want to insert the sender's email, creator, name, temp, name, then we want to enter the description, or the content, then the time, uh, and the very last would be the status. Okay, values for them would be dollar subject. For the sender's name would be dollar s name. Then we will have s email. Then we have dollar temp for the template name, whether it's a dark or the blue one. For the description, we have dollar content. <coughs> After the time would be the MySQL now function. And for the status, I'm going to say active because it's active once they will be creating it or if there are any errors just go ahead die and say mysql errors okay then i'm going to say if sql that means if this particular query was successful then go ahead and echo success okay let's go ahead and test this out so i'm going to refresh it i'm going to select this particular blue one I'm going to say subject to first yes, letter sender's email to my email at the rate mail.com sender's name would be one thing guys I believe you're missing up here that is a creator name okay the creator name would be our session name if you guys remember one thing out here, but I think, uh, I think I was in the wrong folder. I'm gonna open it again. Uh, go to the scripts folder that we created, and inside the session folder, we were having our the name of the session who is the person logged in. So if they are trying to play a trick, you know they are sending a new setter that no need like there is no need to send that newsletter but they created it and they're using someone else name out here but still we are gonna capture the person who's logged in their name as a creator name so if they are trying to play smart we're gonna catch their name and then we are not gonna leave them <coughs> so here is the dollar name because we already have our session file included okay i believe that's done I want to refresh it again. This will be my newsletter. Email to my email at the rate email.com. Whatever sender's name would be, say John. Okay. Okay, this is a test for me. Please submit it without any errors. Without any errors let's submit let's see what we get it says undefined variable town no database selected okay so first i want to say dollar i want to say sorry include we want our connection file script slash connection.php and it says undefined variable dollar town why is that Okay, because we haven't selected any template. So then I'm gonna say else. <coughs> mm, I'm gonna say else if 
empty dollar post group or empty dollar post oh my gosh dark okay if they both are empty then go ahead and throw some errors lock echo please select a template okay now i'm gonna write it down again i'm gonna select the dark one i'm gonna say hey and get the way mail.com i'm actually not interested in writing all this i want to hit submit it says undefined variable chart unknown column subject in the field list so we don't have any subject field out here that we will have to create so <clears throat> i'm gonna hit go there would be the subject to work chart let's say Android is enough for our subject. Save. Now we have it. Yeah. Sender. Uh, this is sender name, sender email. And I'm using senders. So I'm going to take this S away from here. Yeah. And then again, they are saying unknown, undefined variable dark. I don't have any variable for dark. On which line? It says 15. Okay. Dollar tab would be equal to dollar post dark. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm ending up with a lot of errors, but but it's my mistake. And also, you guys are learning how to solve these errors. So, on the other sense, it's also really good for you people. Okay. So I'm gonna hit it again. Here it's a success. Bam! We got it finally, man. Uh, okay, here's our first newsletter. It says template name to admin. That's something wrong. Then, yeah. <clears throat> Sender email is fine. Sender name is file creator is different description to hey. These two things messed up actually. So on the very starting we have the subject and then subject then sender name to s name then sender email to s email then creator name to name and here we have to choose our dollar town. Now everything would be fine guys. We can hit we can try to do it again. Where it will say success, come back, refresh it, we will get one more entry. Yep, it says template is tar with my email, with my name, the actual name of the person who created it. And our, then our content, then the date when we created it, it's active for now, and the subject is equal to pay. So finally, we created our first newsletter. In the next video, I'm going to tell you guys how do you know, use these custom errors in this particular page instead of showing them on the top then we're gonna create our mailing list we're gonna create the edit feature a lot is left so see you guys next time